All right, guys, welcome back. It's another week, another SEC game. We're on week nine now. Game number eight, we've got Chattanooga on the road. Is that right? Yes, Chattanooga three and five. They're D minus still. Uh, they got a good pass defense, looks like, number 15. But I'm not worried about it. Uh, let's briefly check over their roster. I think I already did in the last episode. Um, Chattanooga. So they've got this good quarterback. He's an 80 overall. Decent speed, 70 speed. Um, not a bad, a pretty solid freshman running back. Uh, their top, yeah, their top receiver is suspended. So we can probably play man defense. That guy's got 91 speed there. But uh, good left tackle. But, yeah, the interior O-line's not good. Defense, the defensive line's very poor. Linebackers are decent. Their corner, yeah, so their corners are good. And their safeties, so no wonder they, well, their strong safeties aren't good. But So that, that actually works well for me. This should be a perfect, uh, we should match up very well with them because we're not going to throw the ball that much. Let's check, where are we at in the BCS? Okay, we're number 10 in BCS, so... Uh, I mean, we're undefeated, but I just don't know. I don't think there's any way we get to the... Even if we went out the year, I don't think we're going to get to the national championship. I just... A lot of teams are going to have to lose in front of us in order to do that. Um, I mean, there's a good chance at least two teams go undefeated, and then we'll probably be behind them since we started out the season pretty far down. But I'm okay with it. I mean, we got to get through this game. we got to take it one game at a time because... You know, we have more talent, but it's NCAA 07. You never know. It's on Heisman difficulty. We may not show up, so we'll see. I tell you what, though. Chattanooga, they have the best logo in this conference. I love that. That's a really cool logo. It's going to be cold out there today for the Citadel Bulldogs and the Tennessee 54 degrees. It's not that cold. Come on. Are we, in, are we in November yet? No, we're probably still in October. This is week nine. I love their home uniforms, too. Their, uni their uniforms are really good. I, I like I like those uniforms. I, I, I kind of like ours better, though. I love the all-white. I love the all-white with the silver helmet, silver-gray helmet, and the little light blue shading. I love it. But their, their uniforms are a close second. We'll just go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. They're both picking us. Understandable. We're undefeated. They're three and five. The Mox. Chattanooga Moccasins. Well, we will go ahead and kick. Always like to kick. I don't really care. The wind, the wind is cross. It's crosswind anyway, so the wind direction doesn't really matter that much. Looks like a pretty day in the game. It's a pretty day here in Charleston. It's finally sunny again. It was raining so many, so many days in a row there. Um, no, no. Oh, come on! I thought we were gonna get that. Wow. Okay. I <laughs> tove it then. Okay, well, I mean, it's a game. We got to play. We can't do that. We still got to show up. <clears throat> it's an early game. I guess we didn't. Uh, we're not. We're not woken up yet. We got a uh, guy slept in. I don't know what happened. All right, seven zero. Okay, I guess we'll just get the ball now. The only good thing is they don't get. I mean, they only had plus two momentum. So the momentum meter, if you're new to this, you'll see this momentum meter. It'll say, like, plus two, or it can go up to plus five, and that matters so much in this game. I was trying to match them. <laughs> I thought we could maybe match them with a kickoff return for our own. But. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just take the ball here. Um, I'm a, we're okay. So, yeah, I'm not worried about their defense, guys. They're... Their corners and their free safety are their three best players. And, like, look, we're going to have space all game, I think. I mean, that's an easy 20-yard run right there from McIntyre. 
I mean, we you never know. They they might show up. They might be they they might be juiced on defense. They, they you know you never know. But I think we'll be able to run the ball against them. I'm not too worried about it. So we'll probably be pretty conservative this game. I mean, just as our standard. Look at Matt Washington with a broken tackle. Where are we going? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and somebody got hurt already. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious. I really like their uniforms. I mean, we played them at home last year, so they, they just wore their... I don't know what they wore. I think they wore just the white jerseys and yellow pants, but... I, lo I really like their uniforms, I will say that. I think the yellow helmet with the... I mean, it looks really good, so... All right, um... We may go up the middle. We'll see what happens on the edge there. Yeah, that's up the middle. First down for Jackson. Nice. So McIntyre, Washington, and Jackson all with one carry each. That's good balance. I don't want to overwork McIntyre. I've said that before. But I, I just don't want him getting 25, 30 carries a game. I mean, I, I'm good with him getting about 20 carries a game. That's that's pretty – That's that's about what I would like. Oh, that's no. I I probably should just I should have held on to that. I, I realized there was a guy right beside McIntyre. But it was too late. I'd already hit the button. That's about as ugly as an option can look. There's the quote already. Already Lee Corso giving me the ugly ugly option quote. I love it. Alright, this might have a chance here. They they shift out with their linebackers, so yeah, look at the, there's a huge hole here. Oh, I couldn't get around him. That guy, that guy avoided the block. I was trying to get around him, but third and ten, McIntyre's in the zone. Um, let's see how they okay. They're so their impact corner over there is actually their second string corner. They have a better one that's matched up against Haston, but I like this run all the way with McIntyre. Oh, got around him. There we go. Oh. Oh, he just tripped us up. We got that little, that little shimmy move. I love it. Their safety just completely whiffed on on us. <laughs> that was a close one. All right. Right at 300 yards per game with this profile. So that's over the that's over every game I've played. So that goes back to last season. I'm calling this double option here. I kind of like this play a lot. It, it, it gets space. Like, look at all this space. I'm just going to keep it. Let Townsend get some yards. McIntyre back in the zone. He's flashing. I'll tell you what, guys. Running the triple option, it may it may look easy, but it's, I mean, you really got to time it right. It's not just a, like, this is just a simple handoff. Like, you can't really go wrong with that. As long as your blocking is okay. But the triple option, I mean, it's... It's even. I think it's even harder than the zone read because zone read, you're only reading like maybe one or at most two defenders, and you only have two options. You either keep it or, or uh, hand it off. But triple option, like we've got three options here. We can hand it off to Jackson, or we can keep it and try to cut up the middle with Townsend. Like let's see what we do here. Oh, we'll see. Look at that. I mean, we we didn't have space there, so we had to cut back up the middle. So it's it's a it's fun to it's really fun to run that triple option. It's not always easy. That's why I fumble it so much. <laughs> Already one fumble in this game. Okay, we can if we hold the edge, we got Henderson there, our strong right tackle. If we can hold the edge here, this is a touchdown. All right, bounce out. Yes, we got. Oh, that was close. That was almost the forward pitch. I think it almost was, but McIntyre reached back and grabbed it. At six points, that's all that matters. It wasn't the prettiest play. But now look at that. We got momentum now. How about that? I forgot what time the kickoff was. It may be like later in the afternoon. It's either just kind of cloudy or it looks. It doesn't look like it's like a 12.30 kickoff. All right, Thomas is flashing, our impact punter. <laughs> Let's kick it over here this time. There we go. Oh, come on. I tried to dive, but I completely missed the tackle. 
All right, so now we'll play defense finally. So I think they're pretty... I can't remember. I think... I mean, they're coming out four wide, but they're under center. We'll just have to see what they do. Let's play action. Oh, in the traffic. Oh, man. Not a great throw by the quarterback. I don't know who he was throwing that one to. I, you know what? I know. I think the intended receiver was the safety. That was one quote where they actually, like, nailed that one. Like, usually they just say whatever, you know, whatever triggers. It's kind of randomized, but that that was exactly what I was thinking. There was, like, two guys over there, and he just threw it up in zone coverage. Like, what is this? We're all over that. I don't know what kind of play that was. He scrambled and threw it on the run. It's a loss of five. That's good awareness from our safety from Nicholas over there. He's had a good season. And, again, if I mean, most of you watching this have probably already watched all these games, but if you're just joining us, hold on. Oh, their quarterback's rattled. No, he's rattled. Yeah, he's not, kind of, he's not showing up right now. I don't know if we're getting pressure early on him and he's getting, you know, he ran out of the pocket again. But, anyway, if you're just joining us, we have all freshmen on defense minus one Juco recruit who is also a newcomer, so... We're starting 11 new players on defense from this season, and this is season two. So it's it's been interesting. We played pretty well, though. I've been I've been impressed. These it's it's gonna be fun to watch all these freshmen grow over the course of four years. I mean, they're all starting this year. I mean, if I get some five-star recruits, they may get you know they may get bumped down on the depth chart. But oh look, I pitched that. I okay, we'll just. <laughs> I pitched that way too soon. I uh, got another guy's. Oh, that's their corner, isn't it? I think that's their best player. I pitched that way too early. The only reason I did is I thought I was about to get hit. But the guy, I don't know what happened. Uh, he clearly didn't hit Townsend. He, I don't know if he he fell down or got picked up on a block or what. But All right, this is a run right with Washington. We'll try to see if we can get up the middle here. Early jump. Uh, now we'll go to the eight and a half. It wasn't really anywhere to go. We'll take the flag. We'll take the offsides. So I'm, I'm very much ahead on the recording. Uh, give me one second. I read an alert on my phone. Uh, okay, so, yeah, what I was saying is, um, oh, there's big space there. Broken tackle. Nice. Washington's been solid. He's a solid freshman. He, I'm really excited for his development. Um, I was trying to look. I'm trying to see. Um, so, I've got the Georgia Southern video. <laughs> That's the last video, the latest one currently as I'm recording this. Um, so we're a little ahead, and I gotta just get. Up. I actually just have to get all these uploaded and mixed and make sure everything looks good. Oh goodness, there's nowhere to go. That was that was not a good play. I tried to get a little creative there, but it did not work. Um, I'm trying to pull up my. So yeah, the Georgia Southern video, I was trying to, I'm, I, I want to interact with all the comments. Like, I appreciate you guys, anybody that's commenting, commenting on these videos. You know, I'll reply to everything, and, oh, they couldn't break the tackle. But yeah, hey, one guy commented saying that against the 07, his, it's his favorite game. And, you know, it's this one, it's, it's my favorite, but it's also, and the reason why is because it's, I've logged the most hours on this game. I mean... I didn't play 08 very much, and it had that that bug with the pursuit angles for defensive players. I'm trying something here. Come on. Oh, no, no. Oh, that did not work. There's that corner. Impact. Okay, that was pretty stupid. I was just trying. I mean, I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk anything and throw a pick, so instead we just fumble it. That's fine. We'll play defense. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, 07. That's also my favorite. I mean, I've logged the most hours. It's I still have the original disc. 
I play 09 is pretty good. 06 is really good. Uh, I just, I just, I'm so used to 07, you know, like I, I played this, I brought out my, I got out my own PS2, so before I built this gaming PC, I got out the PS2, and I had this disc available, so I started playing that, I played it for a couple weeks, you know, on the PS2, and then, uh, honestly, within the last year, 2020, 2021 now, I've started playing this on emulation, so, I mean, it feels like a new game with this in HD, and it's, it's recorded in 4K, I, I mean, HD versus 4K, it may not be a huge difference, but, um, but it looks really good, it looks really crisp, and it's very smooth, too, there's no lag issues, there's no delays, or stuttering, oh, they're rattled on offense, they can't, I mean that that they just like overthrew it just barely, just like a yard. Or maybe it wasn't even that long, maybe like a foot. But anyway, 07, yeah. It's my favorite just because it's the game I'm most comfortable with. And honestly guys, I haven't played fourteen. I have not played fourteen since probably the actual year of twenty fourteen. I I didn't um I didn't play much on the PS3. Most of my gaming, <laughs> most of my gaming hours have been on PlayStation 2, and then occasionally on PS4. Oh, look at this guy! Still fourth down though. They may go for it. Fourth and inches. Yeah, oh, they're gonna punt. Okay. Well, maybe not. We'll watch the fake here. Are they gonna punt this fourth and inches on the 42? I mean, what all, what all do they have to play for? Like, they're three and five. We're undefeated. They're at home. That's a pretty, pretty conservative call there. And this might this is gonna go in the end zone. Wow. This is a classic uh, game of where they're just not prepared. <laughs> coach is making it there. That was a bad decision by the coach there. I'll take it. If their corner is gonna big hit my running back and. Calls a fumble. Yeah, we'll call it even. Uh, I tried to go up the middle. I didn't like the edge there. Like, they look, they you still there was a guy coming over on the edge, but that's okay. I would like to fall forward. I would like for him to fall forward a little bit, but all right. We may just take this to the end of the first here. I'm going to see what they come out in. You know what, I, and man, yes, oh, no, oh. I saw that they were in man, so I thought I'd try that, but, damn, they're big hitting us, like, what's going on? Y'all, you guys, I mean, they have plus two momentum now because of that turnover. Third and nine, I guess, uh, let's see what they do here, three, three, five, oh, they're in man, well, I may be able to hit... Haston? Oh, let's go. What a perfect pass. Look at Townsend. 27-yard gain. That's, that might be his best pass he's ever thrown, right in stride. I mean, he, has, <laughs> he got a little boost, though. <laughs> he got a little uh, turbo, a little animation boost. But, I mean, I'll take it. It wasn't a bad throw. He put it where only Haston could get it, so I'll take that. He could have. I mean, he could have easily thrown it behind them, and that could have been another pick. So, all right, come on, get some block, get some blocking. That's what I was trying to say. Well, McIntyre carrying us on offense, which is, yeah, pretty typical. I mean, their their front seven is not great. Like, we should be able to move the ball unless they don't blitz like every single play. This is just halfback off tackle to the left. I gotta watch those two linebackers, see what they do. Oh, okay. Where the defensive end? They just got right through. That blocking kind of blew up on that play. Sometimes that play doesn't work very well. It really just depends on what their D-line, what their assignments are. Like, if they do a slant blitz, it depends on which way they go because the offensive line is, like, they're kind of pushing one direction. So, oh, I could have gone up the middle. That's fine. I'll just take it. Yeah, that's fine. 
It's such a split second decision on that triple option. Like it's so hard to decide. But yeah, that that one was up the middle. I should have just uh, gave, gave that ball off. But we got the first down. It's okay. Now they're bringing their safeties down. We're trying the triple wide receiver option. Oh, okay. Really, they're gonna challenge it? Really? Well, what are you looking at? I'm not even gonna. That's not even worth the replay. <laughs> what the hell are they looking at? What is wrong with their coach? I'm a little uh, concerned because he's punting it on fourth and inches, and then just challenged that when we were like a yard over the first down. I wonder if this will work. I I just want. I haven't called this play yet. That uh, yeah, that, that did not work. Okay. Blocking didn't hold up on the left. That's okay. That's my favorite play. It's my favorite play this season, but I, I can't abuse it. I gotta call it when I know it's gonna work. So it's second and twelve. All right, now they're in the dime. Of course, as soon as I call a pass, they show up in dime. But we may scramble here. We're gonna watch. Uh, Jackson? No. Oh. I threw it to McIntyre. That was a little risky. I, I didn't know if there was gonna be any any guys over there. I probably should have just took the sack <laughs> or thrown it to Jackson. I was just worried it was going to be knocked down by that guy right in front of me. I kind of panicked there. I'm not used to throwing the ball, guys. I, I really, if we if we get a better quarterback next season, I, I might have to practice on throwing because throwing the ball on Heisman is is really hard. I mean, you'll get picked off easily in Heisman. Uh, Washington. Ah, see, we're just they get they're bringing pressure. I don't know what's happening. Our O line is not showing up right now. We may be able to put them in the corner here if I do this right. A little wind to the left. Oh, that's too far. Goodness. That was way too far. That's okay. Though. That went bad. They're at 12. I would have liked to get them closer to like the five, but that's okay. All right, let's see what they do here. They're all—I mean, our defense is playing fine, but they're just not moving the ball at all on offense. And as soon as I say that, they get a first down. That's okay. So the receivers aren't the top receiver. I think he was either hurt or suspended. I can't remember. Um. But, I mean, their receivers don't really scare me. They got one guy with speed. I think it's, um, uh, who's the guy with speed? I think it's 83, if I remember the number right. Yeah, I think it's that guy right there. I may be wrong, though. I really don't know. I'm not, I'm not concerned about them. I mean, that was a good pass. They got it right in front of us. But we were, I mean, we were right there. They they got their touchdown on the kickoff return. I'll be worried when they start moving the ball down the field consistently. I gotta watch the run here. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm gonna stay by the line of scrimmage. Now another pass. Oh, right in the zone. Right over. He got right in the middle of my zone there. Alright, well they're moving the ball, so I mean and if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. It's early on. There's no reason to panic. We're fine. Here's the offensive production statistics. Sponsored I don't know if I should call man defense. I mean, I feel like our zone they shift on the defense. Like the quarterback, he was already he was all over the place in that first quarter. So if he throws a bad pass, it can be an easy pick in the zone. Oh, get it, Jackson. Yeah, there it is. Yes. That play. <sighs> that, that, I was nervous. That was their speed guy. I think that's 80. Yeah, that's definitely their guy with speed. Oh, we just ran underneath that. I, I thought for sure. Oh, we boxed him out a little bit. There's no PI on that. That was all. That was all a play on the ball. Good. That was that was really good. Really good play there by Jackson. I like to see him make plays. I mean, he signed with us in in season, but his overall was not as. Yeah, you know, he's he he wasn't a. Uh, he wasn't rated up to his potential, at least. All right, Washington. Little juke. Run away from him. 
Nice run. Oh no, and that that's their impact guy. They're getting hurt. Oh, that's all right. I mean, they they hopefully. I mean, I don't know. That's their two corners. I mean, it's not a huge loss, but it just takes away more speed on the edge for them. So. They keep running this formation. Everybody all bunched up on the right. Brit, isn't that their... Was that number 83, Brit? I think that was that guy's name. He's now playing defense. He was the guy that they threw that deep ball to. Unless they have two guys with the same last name like that. But We'll have to watch that. See if you guys see a number 83 on defense anywhere. This may be up the middle. Nice move. That first down, yep. All right, three minutes. We can be... We can take our time here. I'm not going to be in a rush. All right, look at that. They shift left now. This might work. Look at all those guys on the left. I don't know what they're doing. And we got the early jump, but look at all this space. Oh, McIntyre. Break another tackle. Get big hit. That's fine. Still a 20-yard run. Is it time? <laughs> Aston's in the zone. I think it's time to try this again. I like this a lot better. They're in 3-3-5 Cougar. They're in man coverage. Yeah, they're in man. That guy's following. I like this a lot better. Let's see if they get, if they suck in. No, they kind of stay flat. Okay, this doesn't work. Ah, oh, that did not work. They're defending that play. All right, they know that play, so maybe we can't run that one. I was hoping they would bait, or they would take the bait in on the handoff inside. But uh, yeah, they didn't. Uh, they didn't fall for that. They they know that play. They've scouted us out a little bit. I'm not really sure. How, I don't know how I feel about this. There, there might be some space here. Ah, that guy's blitzing. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, what a move. Washington pulling out all the moves. Like, he just... That was a perfect animation for... <laughs> I keep saying animation. It's a game. It's a game. But that was a perfect juke. He just went right around that, uh, that safety that came down. All right, third and six. Let's take our time here. Whole playbook is open. I'm trying to think of what I'd rather. I don't know what to run here. I'm going to call timeout with a second left or two seconds. I don't know why it delays like that. <laughs> I call timeout and it delays. All right. Um, I'm thinking we'll just stick with the option. I mean, they're in dime. Look at this. Okay, this may work. Right, let's see how we block here. Oh, my goodness. We barely got that out. I right, short. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. This is a, this is a bold call, but I, I feel confident. I think we can get this. I think we can just power this up the middle. I'm going to take my time, though. There's still there's still a lot of time. I'm going to flip it just in case. I may, I'd may. i rather keep this with Haston. I mean, with uh, McIntyre. Oh, they jumped. They jumped. We, they'll just hand it to us. Nice. I was a little nervous about that one. I may have called timeout and just taken the field goal, but we got the jump. It's a free first down. Haston's in the zone again, but I'm not feeling calm. I don't want to run triple option, triple wide receiver option. I just don't feel like that's going to work, especially in this defense. Like, oh, this may work there. They're stacked on the right side. Can we get in here? With Townsend. Yes, we can. Just walk right in. Yeah, they played that to the right. They had guys coming across the field there by the goal line. It was just too late. All right. Full momentum now. Full momentum, but guys, there's still time. I mean, if we know one thing in this dynasty is that we – maybe that's the first season. Maybe that's just the first season thing. We, we would give up so many points right before halftime. It never failed. They would just throw some 20-yard completions on us, and then 
they would either kick a field goal or most of the time they just get a touchdown. But let's try not to do that because it's only a seven-point lead. I'd like to have momentum going into the second half. All right, no kickoff return touchdowns, though. Let's not do that. There we go. All right, so they're on the 29. They're still on. They got four wide receivers. They may. They may. Th they may throw it. They've not run the ball very much. They're they're under center. I don't really know what this is gonna be. All right, it's a pass. Oh, it's a hitch. We're there. Yes. Take it all the way, Edwards. Let's go. Pick six. They ran the hitch route right in front of us. That's. <laughs> I love that one. I love when they do that. I saw that and they just, I just jumped it. Pick six. The quarterback almost got it though. He was catching up. Okay, well, maybe that's just a season one thing. We we just got another touchdown. There's still time though. <laughs> There's still time. They we can get another one. <laughs> Tell you, I wasn't expecting that. I, I mean. We haven't gotten too many defensive touchdowns so far. I mean, I don't think we got one last season. We got one. Did we get one earlier in the season? I think we did. I just can't remember. I forgot which game that was. I feel like we got one early in the season. It may have been Northern Illinois. No, I don't think it was that game. I can't remember. All right, let's call. Let's just, they're five wide. They're, they're going to throw it again. I mean, they haven't even tried to run the ball. They're, our defense has been solid on the pass coverage, though. Oh, they're throwing again. Oh, they're going deep. Oh, let's get it. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Why are you you're throwing it right at us? You do not do that, guys. Have you all not learned? If, I mean, you can't throw a short route. I'll get it with Edwards. Throw a deep route. You're throwing to our best corner, Travis Payne. Wow. Well, we're not done. We still got a couple timeouts. I'm going to be pretty conservative, though. I'm just going to see if we can get running the ball, which is nothing. That's fine. Our, our guard got decked. Number 79, he was on his back. All right, let's call a play quickly here to see if we can get space to the edge. Clock's running. Oh, they shift left. This might have a chance. Look at the, this is perfect. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What's happening? I'm going to call a timeout. I'm going to call a timeout just in case. Hassan's in the zone. Okay, you know what? We got to try this one more time. We we have to. I don't want to throw a pass here. I really don't. But I hope this works. I hope I don't regret calling that timeout. As long as we don't give up a punt return or fumble it. I just got to get this play one more time. Okay, there we go. Their blocking's there. Aston's got space. He's got space. Oh, I couldn't get out of bounds. I should have got out of bounds. Damn it. Okay. Um, I got to call a timeout. The clock's going to run. All right, so... Okay, first and 10 on the 41. We don't have any timeouts. So I think we've got, like... I honestly, I'm going to try... Townsend's been pretty accurate so far. I'm going to try to hit Haston on an out route. It's man. It's there. Yes. Out of bounds. Okay. Do we kick this field goal? I guess we I, we need to kick it, right? I mean, I can I don't know. I could try to I could try the same play one more time. I could yeah. I've got time. Uh, if it's not there, I'm just gonna throw it away. Cause I can't I can't get tackled in bounds. It's gonna end the in the half. Let's look at McIntyre. He's open. Come on, get out of bounds. Yes. Okay, that's perfect because I think now. So we were on the 30-yard line. I don't think there was any way we were making like a 47-yard field goal, but we may we might be able to make this now. This is, yeah, we actually. Now the wind's gonna be a little in our face coming to the uh, to kick into the right here, but I think we can make this. Probably need to get full power. That looks good. Oh, I barely got it. All right. 
What a good end of the half. We scored, what, four, uh, 17 points in the last two minutes. A nice touchdown drive, a pick six, and then another interception, and then a couple of big plays for the field goal. So, yeah, they're uh, they're struggling on offense, guys. We Our defense is stepping up. They're six for 12. Only 47 passing yards. 0 of 2 on third down. Oh, I forgot. They've thrown three picks now. What, what was the first pick? I don't, I don't even remember. Who pick? I cannot remember. Wait, look at McIntyre's already got 100 yards rushing. I can't remember who the first pick was. I'm, I'm blanking on this. Look at all the pancakes. <laughs> Goodness. Edwards, five tackles for Edwards. One tackle for loss. Oh, yeah, that's right. Casey Jack. I was blanking on the pick. It was the one in the end zone the with Casey Jackson. That's right. Well, good. Pretty solid. We gave up the kick return touchdown. Other than that, absolutely nothing on offense for them. He sends it off. Washington fields it at the seven. Oh, we got space for Washington. At the 40. I think he's gone. That's a touchdown. That is a touchdown, Marcelo Washington. All right, we're blowing this one out now. We're just overmatched. Like, I mean, honestly, the talent gap might be bigger this year than it will be next year because, you know, these guys, these teams are going to start recruiting better players. Even if they go five and seven in conference, they're still going to get, you know, quite a few three stars and. Four, they may get some four stars, and they'll develop. Jenkins already has one kick return that went for a touchdown. Let's see if they kick it to him again. But you know, I could. I'm surprised. Like, I feel like one of these games is going to be close, and they're. I mean, I, we may lose one of these games. Like, it's. We still got Appalachian State. Um, I feel like Prairie View A&M is a sleeper game because they they had the worst roster last year, but they still played us pretty close. And then uh, we've still got the SEC West. Chan uh, Championship if we win win the Not SEC the East, uh, but the non-conference games aren't gimmies. I mean they're two decent teams. So. He steps up. He's looking. They're going Another. deep again. Why are they throwing it at us? Look, we're dominating the time of possession. My goodness. Yeah, they're they they just haven't showed up. Like that'll happen. I mean you're, it is pretty realistic, and I've noticed this watching. Um, Again, I'm going to give a shout-out to Expanding Man, uh, Andy. If you watch his channel, and, you know, he's played so many games. Like, I remember watching one of his bowl games and, like, the team he played. I mean, he had a good team, and he played really well. I, I mean, I'm giving him that, of course. But I think it was Oklahoma, the Oklahoma game, and they just, like, did not show up at all. It was, like, a, a complete blowout, and they were probably highly – they were probably higher rated than his team was, uh, at least overall-wise. But, I mean, they had, like, DeMarco Murray and – I forget who else, but uh, I don't know. I think Adrian Peterson might have already graduated. Like, look, they can't even run. Like, they're trying to do a QB choice, and that's just not going to work. Or a zone read, whatever that play was. But, yeah, like, I, I learned that from watching his channel. Like, I, I mean, I, I didn't play on Heisman much, you know, back in the 2000s, but it's fun. It's pretty realistic. I mean, you'll get – you. I mean – I won't be surprised if one of these teams really, really challenges us. And I mean, honestly, they may even beat us. Like, I'm not going to guarantee an undefeated season, that's for sure. But we're looking good. The last two games, we've looked pretty good. So let's just uh, let's just focus on running, no turnovers. They're coming out in a dime here. I think we got yeah, that's uh, offsides. Defense looked like it jumped early there. He must have been listening to the snap count on that one. Yeah, this guy has to learn to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence. First it's first down. Oh, I get a drink of water. Okay. I'm just going to flip it and run to the left here, potentially. This may also go out the middle. The looks like there'll be space. I, oh, no. No. Let's not do that. Guys, no. I was just talking about how we need to... How we need to just play conservatively, no turnovers. Oh, goodness, okay. 
That's why, that right there is why you can't be, you just have to be careful because, you know, it, it could easily be, if it was 21 to 7, you know, we've been controlling the whole game. It could be 21 to 7 and then that right there, like here they go, now they're getting some run, rushing yards. They, that could change the game, I mean. So let's, let's just, five wide, they're probably, unless they do another draw, they're probably throwing it. He's under center. I don't. There's no. I, this shouldn't be a run. Uh oh. Uh oh. Casey Jackson, where you at? Oh, he turned. How <laughs> you turned too soon? That's okay. I I kind of thought that was a touchdown, but first and a goal, probably inside the one. Let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can we get a stand? Can we stop him one play? At the. Uh, That'd be heavy. I don't think Edwards is in this formation. I just realized that. Oh, it's a toss. Look at that. Why are they running a toss? Of all plays. We've got speed to stop that. You can't run a toss against us. I mean, I just called five under, and our guys were in zone, like this same play here. I feel like they're going to do play action. That's why I'm calling zone. Oh, they hand it off. No, we're stopping him. Thomas Robinson. Look at this. <laughs> Are we going to get a goal line stand here? It's going to, that would be, I mean, that'd be a huge win for the defense. We should get momentum for that, but they've still got probably two more downs here. I don't think they'll kick a field goal. Play action. Oh, he's short and he dropped it. I thought he caught it. I didn't realize he dropped it. Aren't they really going to kick a field goal? <laughs> oh, what a what are their their coach? Come on, Chad Nuga. You're down 31 to seven. I realize this makes it three scores. I mean, I guess it was technically already three scores. It was 24. Wow. If I were their fans, I'd be booing right now. I would be booing. You get it inside the one yard line, can't score a touchdown. I mean, credit to our defense. I just felt like they should have gone for it. They should have gone for that fourth down. I know I would have. I mean, what do you have to lose? Okay, well, if we keep doing that, oh, goodness. What's happening? As soon as I start talking about, like, we're, we're up 31 to 7, I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be a blowout. We can just coast the rest of the way. Of course, NCA, please, let's make it interesting. There's Anderson. Our boy Ismail Anderson, finally. He's, I, feel, I mean, he's played a good game. Like, I mean, again, I will say the defensive line, they're not going to get the most, uh, they're not going to stuff the stat sheet. I mean, we only, we play three defensive line. If we ran like 4-3 or something or 4-2-5, they would have much better stats probably. What, the, what is this? They're an out route to the sideline out of bounds. That's fine. Our defense has played well, though. I mean, I feel like they've played very, very poorly. I'm, this is an aggressive call. I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> I just want to try to get a sack. Yes. Thomas Robinson right up the middle. Well, not up the middle. Between the guard and the tackle. That's not the A gap, right? That's uh, gosh, I my football terminology is No, it is the A gap, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, B gap. Oh my goodness, I'm stupid. I I knew that, I just I never like Oh, they caught that? Wow, okay, now we got out at the one yard line. So yeah, yeah, sorry guys. The A gap. <laughs> a gap garden center, B gap garden tackle. So Robinson he sent the blitz right on the B gap between the guard and the tackle. I should know that. I do. I just anyway. I don't play I don't blitz much. Like I I play in the secondary. I don't really Oh uh, I tried to juke him. I tried. I was trying to get a 99-yard touchdown run. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. 
All right. Now, now that our defense has made some stops, let's try to run out more of this clock here. It's still 31 to 10. Game's not over at whatsoever. But I like McIntyre in the zone right up the middle here. Well, just, okay, he almost powered through everyone there. I mean, they're, they're, honestly, they're, their defense hasn't played that bad, though. I, I will give them that. I mean, we got we to gotta pick six. So without the pick six, it's twenty. It's twenty-four to tw uh, twenty-four to ten. And then we got another gift on the interception, and then the big run by Haston to set up a field goal. But I mean, yeah, their defense hasn't played bad. At least, maybe not as bad as their offense. Like, see, I mean, that was a good assignment. I think that that's number eighty-three. That's their wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, there he is. The wide receiver you're playing corner. I wonder if he was an athlete recruit. They either do not have any depth at all, or they that guy's like a just was an athlete recruit, so he can has he may be a pretty good corner. I don't know. He may have good tackling stats. All right, hand off to McIntyre. They're in man, and there's a space. Yep, first down. You know, All right, yeah. Let's be let's be conservative. Let's let's run some clock here. Sure take some of the pressure off the pass I mean, I'm not gonna take it down to one second every play, but I want to. We've we've controlled time possession this whole game. I want to keep it that way. Not much of a shift at all. So let's see. We'll just see how we block here on the left side. Could have gone up the middle, but there's a lot of space to the edge. I'm just going to keep it. I didn't want to risk fumbling a pitch there. <laughs> I probably could have pitched it to, town, uh, to McIntyre, but... Oh, that Towns to get those yards. Don't turn it over. Picked up the first down. All right, let's get... Uh, let's get Washington the ball again. I kind of run it. I've had McIntyre on the, on the field the last several plays in a row. I got to keep our running backs fresh. I can't... I mean, I know it's 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 pretty realistic on Heisman. I mean, they do have a stamina um, and fatigue attributes. So, oh look at this! Look at this, Washington! Oh, come on, let's go, Marcelo! Marcelo! What a run! That's his best run of his career so far. He's just a freshman. Look at this! Our guard got decked, but then that's all Washington. Breaks the tackle, does the hurdle for fun, and then just the speed to get around there. Uh, it's probably one of their poorly rated safeties, but it looked cool. So, you know what? Who cares? So the kicking team will line up for the point there we go. That was a beautiful run. A lot happened. Our, our guard got decked again. That guy, number 79, is having some trouble in this game. But it didn't matter. We got around, we got around everybody. 99-yard drive. Of course, that was a, what, 63-yard touchdown, as I just said. I'll take it. Didn't run up a whole lot of clock, but we got the touchdown, so let's play some defense again. There's Edwards making the tackle. All right, so, I mean, again, just cover three, guys. It's not been the most exciting game on defense in terms of play calling, but their quarterback's already throwing three picks against our zone. Almost uh, there it is. There's four. Number four. Kirk, it looks like he's just baiting that quarterback I mean, that he just ran right in my route. That's why he plays zone. I, I mean, I honestly didn't even do anything there. Like, I mean, why? Well, I, I controlled that. I controlled everything from the snap, but like, they they ran a cross route and he just came right into my zone and I just stepped in front of stepped in front of them, played the ball. Wow. Okay. They're still big hitting us. I don't appreciate that. I mean, but you know what? It's okay because it's 38 to 10, and we've got four picks right now. So, <laughs> okay. All right, they had man coverage over there on the receivers. We got to watch the – what are they in? 
They're in 335. The safety and the linebacker. We just gotta watch those two guys on the left. That's okay. They didn't get blocked. I was scared if I bounced that out, they would have hit me and I would have gotten hit backwards. I'll take the seven yards. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. All right, they, I think they're in man. Yeah, they're definitely in man again. I'm calling a pass here. I might try to get McIntyre. I'm probably either going to scramble or hit McIntyre if he's wide open. Uh, there he is. Oh, go! Oh, let's get <laughs> That was weird. That was really weird. McIntyre, he, like, started to stop his route, and then as soon as I threw it, he kind of, like, came back to the route. by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. They're crowding the line. The oh, and they're jumping. Up, I, think a I was gonna, I was gonna try to audible that. I was, I was. Outside. I thought Townsend maybe could have scrambled in, but I was gonna audible to the triple option. All right, let's go. It's maybe a handoff to McIntyre up the middle. I put him in under the fullback here. Oh, he hit us back. Huh? That was a good tackle. That's a good tackle. It's hard to get him to. It's it's hard not to let him fall forward. So, I mean, he's one of those running backs. He always falls forward. Wow, well, he's in the zone though. So let's just. What do I want to do though? I'm gonna try plays. I haven't run that much. All right, they're pinching in. Oh, uh, yes, it's in. Ball across the goal. Ball across the goal line. I ran the counter that time. I usually don't run that play that much because of the blocking. It takes some work. Because, um, you know, you're, you're, you're pulling a guard and your counter, your counter is, you know, it takes a while for that play to develop, so you got to have pretty solid blocking. But it was enough on that play. All right, now, yeah, this is officially, we're blowing this one out now. I'm thinking about putting in subs already, but I don't know. Okay, I get it, Brad. He's returned to kick for a touchdown, but I don't think he's going to do it again. <laughs> nice no, juking around. I love when they say that. He returns to the opening kick, and they're just like, oh, you better watch out. He's going to do it again. I'm like, okay. If he does it again, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll be excited. <laughs> I'll give him a, oh, look at that. They put in the backup. They bench their 80 overall quarterback. <laughs> All right, let's see what this guy can do. Is he a scrambler? Yeah, he's a scrambler. He can run. Oh, oh, he got lit up. Oh, goodness. Don't spin right into that guy, man. All right, so fourth quarter. I think it's time. This is pretty much, they've already put in the backup. Yeah, I gotta, let me figure this out though. Um, yeah, Jackson's a starting fullback, so, I mean, it'll be fine. We can run with number 34. We can run with James. I don't, they, I think they just put, yeah, they just put in the backup quarterback. They still got their starters out there. He's a scrambler. Who was that? Oh, I don't even. That's who. I don't even know our backups. <laughs> I forgot. I just put the backups in. I was like looking for Ishmael Anderson, or so that was probably. Uh, I gotta figure this out. though. we've got an issue here. Marcelo Washington is the four-string line middle linebacker, when which means he's playing right now. Let's just put in Petty. Petty, he's a season one veteran. <laughs> I gotta put him in though. I just don't. I don't want to have Washington playing defense. That's a little ridiculous. Uh, let's move. We've got another. Uh, we've got another left uh, defensive end. I just put in Smith. It'll be fine. I don't know what's happening. Why is uh, you know what? It's fine. It's. I think that's an offensive lineman there, number seventy-four. That's got to be an old lineman. But whatever. He'll be fine. This quarterback's just trying to run. So far, he hasn't thrown a pass. Oh, he's throwing it deep. Where are we? 
Oh, what the hell? How do you drop that, man? They're they're just not they're they're, they're falling apart. I don't know. This is the worst. This is the worst I've seen a team play in this dynasty. I feel like. I mean, they returned the opening kick and then they got a field goal because they they did catch one pass but then ran out of bounds. This is a fair catch all the way with Washington. Um, but yeah, I mean that was that was an easy catch and he drops it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. All right, well, it works for me. I can just run out the clock a little more. All right, so, yeah, let's just focus on no turnovers here, please. I mean, that's that's fine. No gain, but also no fumble. I mean, there's seven minutes left. I'm honestly just focused on taking up as much time as I can. So this, the last seven minutes are probably not going to be very exciting. We'll see if Washington can break another long run, though. All right, third and eight. I would have liked to. I'd like to pick up a first down. I mean, I guess I could, uh, I'd like to pick up a first down. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to block James. I'm going to look for Washington over there in the flat. Let's see if he gets space here. Yeah, he's got space. Pick it up. Oh, he stepped out. Damn it. I didn't want to step out of bounds. That's fine. But not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough. Keeps the it stops the, the clock. I mean, it's, they're not going to come back. I just want to get. I just want to wrap this game up. It's pretty much over. Get him. Nice. Good tackle. Good wrap up. Refuse that stiff arm. So the good thing about playing. Um, when you run 3-3-5, three, three, it leaves Edwards in the game, our backup safety. Technically, our backup safety. He's our second-string safety, but he stays in the game. Oh, now they're running it. Okay. I mean, they, they may score one or two. They may score another time. We're, we're running our uh, second-string defense, basically. I need to figure this out. Why? Can I put a uh, – I, I don't even have another strong safety on the roster, do I? Let's just put in, yeah. That's fine. I, I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't want to have a... Take a look at the offensive production. I wanted to have an actual defensive player on the other side. <laughs> just realized that. Linebackers are looking inside. So on the strong safety on the right there, just put it in a corner. Oh, I'll throw it. Oh. Oh, what's happening? How is he breaking tackles? He broke two sacks. Goodness. They should have played this guy at the start. I mean, his overall is nowhere near what the, their starter is, but... It at least gives them ability to scramble a little bit. That would have changed their defense. We would have had to probably run a spy. Or at least kind of watch, you know, been a little more aggressive towards our linebackers. Maybe calling some blitzes. That's a draw. Nowhere to go. With the tackle at the 43 yard line. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm just run clock. So we got 32, 14, 11. 32 is a freshman. 14 is a freshman. Number 11 is Holloway. Seven yards to go. Who might be, he's either a junior or a senior. He was on the team last year. Some of these guys were on the team last year. Uh, well, not that many, though. We lost, like, every player on defense. He back. Down the oh, oh. He threw it right to me. Who's that? Who, did they put it in a different quarterback? I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Who was that? They put it in another quarterback. What's going on? They're just, they're in scrambles. Their coach is, like, trying to save face right now. He's like, yeah, let's put it in this guy. Put in third string. Okay, well that was a ho I that was absolutely horrible. I forgot how bad our players were last year. I like, <laughs> I kind of stopped running 
and I just let him go right past me. That was that was a user error, but okay. Well, I guess I should have played that quarterback the whole game. He's one for two with a touchdown pass. Their first offensive touchdown of the game. All right, five minutes. Let's just let's pick up some first downs here. Are they gonna? Yeah, they're gonna onside. I, I mean, they're going to try to get the ball back, I guess. Oh, that's... Okay, we'll just take it. That that went like six yards. Alright, fullback sting. Let's just run the ball. So, our, uh, our O-line's kind of messed up, too. I'm going to flip it and go the other way. There we go. That's a good run. Uh, I can't wait for next season because we'll, we should have a lot more depth next season. Like, we can't even do mass subs properly because we don't have – we don't even have enough – we don't even have enough O-linemen, like, that can play, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, we're running number 48. It's like a linebacker. and Yeah, number – that's Powell, a linebacker, and then a defensive tackle. So that's that's kind of interesting. Run this clock down. Wow. All right. That guy must be pretty good. Or whoever whoever keeps lining up on our left guard is. I mean that was a that was our backup, but he got decked again on that left or the right guard or the whoever it was that defensive end keeps rushing right through our O line. All right, let's try to pick this up. I'd like to just keep the clock running. Come come back home to South Carolina. The Bulldogs. Line up in a split Chattanooga's a cool place though. If you guys never been there, it's it is a cool place. Wow. That's big hitting us. I give, I give Tennessee a lot of hate. Not really hate, but uh another word. I uh so, like I said, I, I I mentioned this before. I I graduated school from University of Kentucky. So, Kentucky and Tennessee are pretty big rivals, uh, especially in basketball. Like Tennessee's been pretty good in basketball the last, honestly, the last couple of decades. So, let me see if I can pin them here. Mm, nice, what a play! What's the flag? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What kind of call is that? He wasn't even catching. He, no, he wasn't the one catching the ball. No, that's bogus. Our coach should be pissed right now. <laughs> Up by 28 points, he should be pissed off. Anyway, I'm from yeah, I graduated from Kentucky, so I give Tennessee a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, but. It's actually, like, the state of Tennessee is really cool. There's a lot of cool places. Um, they've obviously, obviously got the mountains. Fun to drive through. When we, when we moved to Charleston, we uh, we drove through the mountains, obviously, and it's it's a fun drive. You get into southeastern Tennessee and North Carolina going towards Asheville. It's, it's really beautiful. But, yeah, I do like Chattanooga. I've been there a couple times. Oh, the guy's wide open. Why did they put Sparks back in? I don't know what they're doing. They're just having quarterback tryouts out here. <laughs> they're just having quarterback tryouts against our second against our second string defense. I guess I, I really don't know. Well, they're, the problem is they're targeting the right side of our defense, which is the weak spot. If they throw it over here on the left, it's getting knocked down or picked. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. And we've played so well. We've we've played. So, I'm gonna use your Gilmore in this play. Okay, well it doesn't matter. They're just running. I was tired of them throwing to the right side. Like I, they're not even throwing towards Edwards. So, and it's our, it's honestly garbage time in the game right now. I mean, five wide again. I right, will watch another quarterback draw. All right, we'll go back to Edwards. Quick pass. No, oh, nice bat down. That's our quarterback. I don't know why our quarterback's playing safety, but number 13. <laughs> they got the bat down. Good defense. 
I mean, that's we have no depth, guys. Like that's just our. We have a backup. Our backup quarterback is playing safety. We have a linebacker playing offensive line. We have an offensive lineman that was playing defensive end. I have no idea where my man is. No idea. Oh, he threw it to the ref. Okay. Fourth down. I'll go for this, right? Yeah. All right. If we stop him here, probably the game. I mean, well, we'll probably end the game on offense. We'll just pick up one first down. I don't think they're coming back. Are they going to run it here? Do they dare run the ball? They do. And we're not there. Huh. They'll bring him down. Interesting call. I kind of thought they might. That's fine. Yeah, do a chest bump. There you go. Celebrate that first down. Well, maybe we can get another turnover. Let's see if we can get another pick. Ooh. Oh, we're there. He's holding on to the ball way too long. Coach him up. Yeah, coach him up. These backups need reps. I mean, they're still – I feel like a lot of them are still freshmen. I don't remember who. We got number 94, 96 on defensive line. I think we only – do we only have three defensive ends? I can't remember. Quarterback draw. Oh, got to make a tackle. I got to bring Edwards down to make the tackle. Eight tackles for Edwards. Look at them. They're just living life, man. Line up at the a minute to go in this game. First down. Celebrating first downs. The D -line shifts over. Give it off here. Another run. Petty with a takedown. There's Petty with the, with the Allen tackle. Gains around three yards on the run. That'll bring up it's good to see. Down. I mean, yeah, let's just let them run the clock. Oh, of course. Why? Why do you call a timeout? <sighs> okay. I just want to end this game. It's over. Maybe we can get another pick, though. I'm going to try to watch for an interception here. Oh, it's another run. They call a timeout, and then you run the ball. Now they call another timeout. All right. We'll keep playing. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. I feel like this has to be play action. Are they really, are they really going to run here? They are. Wow. What are you all doing? All right. It's our offensive, it's our offensive lineman making the tackle. <laughs> Number 74. All right, here we go. We can put the game away now, finally. If we can get a stop. I'm just going to do cover three. I was trying to find a good play. I ran out of time. They shift on their defensive front. Park drops to throw. He looks. Get him. Let's it go. Yeah. Oh, whoa. What happened? Well, coach, at this point, it look, uh, uh, okay, it looked like he caught that That's and then like dropped it. <laughs> I thought we had it. <laughs> that was weird. I thought our linebacker had it, but it, it looked like it was caught and then he dropped it. All right, here we go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. 45-17, pretty good game. Good. That was a really good defensive performance. We gave up the touchdown. We gave up the kick return touchdown and then the uh, touchdown with the with the subs in the game. But yeah, feeling pretty good. What is that? We're six and zero in conference. We got two games remaining: Appalachian State and Prairie View A and M. Uh, if we win one of them, we win the East. But I'd like to go eight zero in conference would be pretty good. And this one finally comes to an end, and it wasn't even close. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. Tennessee. Man, I tell you what, their coach <laughs> making some questionable decisions. Uh, I mean, it didn't matter, but still. That concludes another game of NCAA football 2007. Our final score here today: the Citadel 45, Tennessee Chattanooga 17. Yep. If we turn it over, though, we had three fumbles, right? I mean, we got four picks. I don't know if we got a fumble recovery. So we still won the turnover battle. 318 rushing.
Yeah, well, I mean, 11 for 25 is not very good. That's pretty – 1 for 11 on third down. Yeah, we were pretty efficient. Three turnovers. They had four picks. And the kickoff return touchdown. Now, we also had a kick return touchdown, though. I forgot about that. Townsend, 60 yards passing. Look at Marcelo. Probably that might be his best game. 132 yards rushing, one touch. He had that long touchdown run. McIntyre efficient as always. Townsend with a touchdown. McIntyre three catches in that one. And eight tackles for Edwards, two picks. Pretty good game. Both of our our other corners both with a pick. All right, guys, that wraps up week. Nine, game number eight. We're gonna just quickly go over recruiting, and we'll you know advance the week, obviously. Uh, so we gotta watch. Uh, who Elon was still on top of the West. I feel like Elon's gonna win the West. I mean they're three and five. I, if, well, Furman's four and four. I remember Elon was like two games ahead of them at least, I feel like. So uh, let's see. Let's watch the records here. Oh, well, I guess Appalachian State's already played. They're three and six. Prairie View's three and six. Western Carolina's six and three. I'm waiting. Elon. Okay, Elon's three and five, so I guess they've already had a bye week. All right, so two home games to finish off the conference. And then we've got uh, we've got a road game down there. I think it's Northwestern State on week twelve. So I mean, we'll have to watch that one. It may be tricky. We'll have to watch it. Number eight. Number eight. Did we lose someone? Who did we lose? No, really. He rejected our offer. I didn't offer him prestige. What the hell? No, that's fine. I mean, wide receiver's not a huge need anyways. I'd rather get this quarterback. We'll just use some more points for him. Give some to these other guys. That's okay. If there was one player to lose, it was definitely the wide receiver. So this guy can visit. Um, Not impressed with you. Well, you know what? It's fine. We're still building our team. Don't worry about it. How about how about location? Come over to South Carolina. Come to the East Coast. I mean, he's he's in Alabama. That's not that far away. Like, it's probably. I mean, I probably could go academics. It'd probably be safer. But I don't know. With, yeah. You, know, you never know. I feel like location is just kind of a safe option unless they have like negative feedback for location. Towson is number two in in the uh, in the polls. We're number seven now in the BCS. We jumped way up. We were we were number ten. We're ahead of Tennessee State. New Hampshire, Sam Houston State. Couple more teams coming in here. So somebody lost, right? Oh, Georgia Southern dropped out. New Mexico lost. Okay, but there's still so many undefeated teams. I don't think we'll even make it to the top to the top of the uh, polls. But anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I got to run. Next video will be out week 11. It's week 10. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.